Here's a graph of gold prices, gold on the market. And notice how the graph around 2005 takes a, a steep climb and the price of gold skyrocketed. What happened was there was a gold rush in the Amazon basin and it ended up generating landscapes like this. This used to be tropical forest. And in just days, th these areas are converted. And I've been in these places. I do a lot of field work. And I'm probably one of the few scientists who've actually been in this kind of environment. It's horrendous what happens. The gold mining not only destroys the environment, it destroys lives. It causes prostitution. Uh, it causes, uh, basically, slavery. Uh, and it generates huge amounts of waste that's laden with mercury. I happened to be in the region at the time flying over, and shockingly, nobody was really mapping this. There was a little bit out there in the science literature, but just not enough. We were there at the, I guess, the right place at the right time, if you want to think of it that way. And we mapped it, and we generated a lot of social uh, awareness of this problem, but our technology took it much further. This is flying over a gold mine, the red, is sus suspended sediment with mercury in it. The redder the color, the worse it is. Blue is forest, so I have the colors from the spectrometer set so that we, we really make the mercury-laden sediment uh, shine. 